Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Venom Vlog, and today we're going to talk about some neat news that came to me earlier on Twitter from It's Your Boy Tom One. So I'm going to put a link to his Twitter account down below, uh, as well as Furlough Seventy One and Turd in the Wind 18. Uh, these three guys were on it today. They were sharing and posting this news. It was really cool. Then the Venom site later on came and started sharing it as well. And then we also had Airlim over on YouTube who made a video about it. He was live streaming the event. And that event is Hasbro's uh, kind of investor conference that they had today. And what was cool about that is they announced some new toy lines that they're gonna be making toys for and one of them was Venom Let There Be Carnage. So how cool is that? A lot of us were wondering, are we ever gonna get more movie figures? You know, we were in doubt. Then we got out of nowhere, we got that Venom movie figure from the first movie not too long ago. And I was hoping that would be like a way to open the door and get more movie figures made, kind of how they did with Deadpool. When the first movie came out, they made Deadpool Marvel Legend figures, but they weren't based on the movie. Then eventually they made a Deadpool movie figure and that was popular, and then the, the wave came and then they made a wave based off Deadpool 2. So this time now we're getting a wave for Venom 2, Venom Let There Be Carnage. So I'm very excited. So we're gonna talk about that in this video, but I wanna, again, the shout outs I gave, all their links are down below to their Twitter accounts if you wanna follow them. They were really on top of this news today. And then also Airlim for being my way to confirm this news because when It's Your Boy Tom tweeted it to me, it was like a low res image. And I was like, ah, I don't know if I trust this. So I went to Hasbro's Instagram page. They had a link to their conference, but when I went there, the conference was already over. So I couldn't like, I couldn't backtrack in the video and verify because the, the video just was kaput after that. So I went and looked online to YouTube to see if anyone was streaming it and I found Airlim's channel. So I'm gonna put a link to his video down below. So make sure you watch it. I think it's around the hour and 40 minute marker roughly. I don't know, I could be wrong there. If there's a better time code, you know, just comment it in his video. Uh, but make sure you subscribe to him and show that guy some love. He was very awesome, very nice. And it was so cool that he live streamed it because I caught him before his stream ended and I was able to backtrack in the video and see the moment where they announced Venom Let There Be Carnage. And so they have this big timeline, as you see in the image there, and they show that they're making uh, Black Widow figures. They're also making, uh, which already came out, they're making Shang-Chi and Eternals figures. They're also doing a bunch of uh, Disney Plus shows like WandaVision, Falcon Winter Soldier, Loki, Miss Marvel, stuff like that. And then also they're doing a new kids cartoon show about Spider-Man and they're going to do a line for him. And I promise you, uh, I know it's for uh, directed towards younger audiences and stuff, but if they make a Venom in that toy line, I'm probably going to get it too. And I know a lot of you will as well. So we'll, you know, we'll keep you up to date as far as that stuff goes and see if Venom's in that new cartoon. But um, for Let There Be Carnage, all the way at the end of their timeline, we have Venom and Spider-Man next to each other. And of course, Spider-Man just says Spider-Man. It doesn't say No Way Home. I think it's because they edited this uh, like a couple weeks ago or a week ago or so, and, uh, and they couldn't put the title there Maybe they didn't even know the title because they didn't want it to leak if this video that they were uploading to their website got hacked or something. So smart move. So it just says Spider-Man at the end, but we know it's Spider-Man No Way Home. And then next to it is Venom Let There Be Carnage. So I just thought this was great news like to, to hear. And like I said, I went to Airlem's YouTube channel and confirmed it. And I was able to take a screenshot and I was like, okay, so the, the image that went up there, you'll see Airlem in the corner down there. Because uh, I figured if anyone shares this image now on, YouTube, uh, on Twitter and stuff and social media, I'll know it's my image because I screenshotted heirloom into the into the uh, video, or you know, I screenshot when his head was on on camera. So uh, so yeah, so uh, this news is very interesting because it, it raises a lot of questions. Obviously, Hasbro typically when they make movie wave lines like they did with Deadpool two, um, and then what they recently did with Spider Verse, they'll put like four characters from the movie in it, three or four characters. And then they'll do a bunch of characters, like two or three characters that are not in the movie. Um, and sometimes the Build-A-Figure won't even be connected to the movie in some instances or connected to the rest of the line. So like the Spider-Verse one, you got four characters from the Spider-Verse movie, but then you got Frogman and a Hand Ninja, and then the Build-A-Figure was Stilt Man. And you're just like, ah, oh, man, why couldn't the Build-A-Figure be Lady Octopus? Uh, why couldn't they do something else that was connected to the actual Spider-Verse movie? And, uh, and that's where Hasbro, I, just, I, I understand what they're trying to do. They want these lesser known characters to get some love and put them in a wave that they might, you know, maybe they won't sell well in, their, in a Daredevil wave, but maybe putting it into a Spider-Verse wave might help it sell. But to me, it doesn't matter. Honestly, that's overthinking it. I think if, if you release a whole Daredevil wave or a whole Venom wave and every character is Venom related, people will buy the characters they want or they'll buy the characters they don't want. But at least for the people who buy all of them, at least they're getting a full Venom set instead of getting like a Typhoid Mary and you're like, but I don't want Typhoid Mary. Like she's a cool character, but I'm not a Daredevil, you know, a Daredevil fan, although I am, but, uh, but you know, some people aren't. And I know it's a way to introduce people into new characters, but it's like when you're trying to just do a single collection, 
it can be frustrating because you're spending $20 on something you don't really want. And I know that's nice for businesses like Hasbro, but it's not nice for us collectors sometimes. So I'm thinking with that mentality. So I'm going to list who I think and who I hope will be in this line, but I want you guys to do the same in the comments down below. So, uh, so I'll start off by saying, obviously, I want Venom and Carnage in this. We haven't seen what Carnage looks like yet, but I imagine Venom might be slightly tweaked, maybe look a little different from the first movie because it's under the eye of a different director. We have Andy Serkis. So I'm sure the visual effects and stuff are going to be different because Andy Serkis prides himself in doing stuff like that uh, and motion capture and making characters look feel look and feel real when he's when they're CGI. So I have I imagine Venom is going to look a little different. So I want a Venom Let There Be Carnage movie version accurate, you know, of an accurate version of him in the movie, but with a Tom Hardy, Eddie Brock head to switch out. I think that would be cool. I also uh, hope they do that with Carnage as well, with Cletus Cassidy, where they do Carnage's figure and then they have a head of Woody Harrelson that you can swap out. I think that would be awesome. So those are my two default ones that I think are probably going to be in the line. So let's talk about the other figures that might be in the line. Um, I saw when we did the live stream earlier, same, some people were saying, uh, you know, they hope Dan Lewis is in the line um, and Wang. I agree. I would love to see Ann Wang. I think someone had the idea that maybe they make a wave of six figures. But then they also do a two-pack where you get Eddie Brock and he has the symbiote head slinking around his shoulder that you can attach on or take it off. Um, you could have that um, and maybe a bag of tater tots with him or something or a lobster and then have She-Venom in the two-pack with him. So that way you get Eddie and She-Venom and then in the single packs you get Venom with an Eddie head uh, and then Anne Wang as a single figure. I think those are both great ideas and so I would love to see something like that. And whether they do the movie version of Anne or the comic version, I would be happy either way. Even if they made one version and you could have her head as the movie Anne or like looks like Michelle Williams and maybe a second head that looks like the comic version. I, and it, whether they do that or not, it won't matter to me. As long as we get an Anne Wayne figure, I'll be very happy. I love that character. And maybe we can put her head on the Agent Anti-Venom body and, uh, and make her the uh, other Earth version of Anne from the recent comic books from Venom Beyond that Donny Cates wrote. So, um, so yeah, that'd be cool to get an Anne Wayne figure. Uh, the Dan Lewis thing is fun, but I don't know. Someone made the joke that he should come with a uh, rip apart action because a lot of people are theorizing he might get killed in this movie because we're going to need a death toll. And we have Mrs. Chen back in this movie, uh, who was someone Eddie tried to protect in the first movie. We have Dan, who means something to Anne. So like these are characters that could be on the chopping block, which would you know suck because they're great characters. But you do need somewhat of a death count when you have Carnage involved. So so there's people making j jokes that you know he should just be able to be ripped apart or something. And I'm like, ah, oh, too dark, too dark. Uh, you know, so, um, so yeah, then, so Dan's a neat idea, but my fourth one I thought is should be Shriek because we've heard rumors that she's most likely going to be in the movie. We found a stand-in that's standing in for Shriek specifically. So it seems like Shriek is going to be in this movie played by Naomi. And, uh, and I'm looking forward to that. So if we get a Shriek, a Carnage, an Anne Wang and a Eddie or Venom, that would be great. And if we get a two pack of Eddie and she Venom, that would be perfect. So those are the kind of figures I, I, I feel like we might get and I hope we get. Um, although the two-pack's a good idea. I don't know if that's something we might get, but I hope we do. But then as far as the other characters in the series, um, we just saw Tyrese post a picture of his character from Morbius. So I would like to see, and you saw on the screen there with his metal arm and everything or the, the attachment on his arm, um, we got a Morbius in the last Venom wave. So I would like to see this guy who's going to be in the Morbius movie get his own figure as well and be in this wave. That could be really cool. Or maybe do a comic character like Rex and you could have Rex be in this wave. That could be neat too. Um, and then I'm also thinking like, if you're going to do a character that's not really tied to Venom, like, you know, that, that is just going to be like a random throw this character in to make the build a figure complete. Um, you know, I don't know. I hope they, I, I, I would rather them stick with Venom and just do like a jury member. Uh, that way you could buy three or four of those jury members and you can make an army of jury members. Um, I think that would be cool too. But I know a lot of us out there, we want to really see Agony and Riot made because of those, those are the two last Life Foundation symbiotes that we haven't gotten yet. Uh, and so if you look at the pattern, Lasher was in a wave, then we had Scream in a wave, and then Phage was in the recent wave. So I'm thinking they'll do one per wave. So if we can get Agony in the next wave, that would be great. And then maybe the Build-A-Figure can be Null, because I know a lot of people want Null, or Dark Carnage, where he's got the horns and he's like big and his spine is showing and everything. Like that could be a cool Build-A-Figure. Or uh, you could do the Build-A-Figure as Riot, and you can do the movie version of Riot from the first movie, 
and then have, um, you know, ag save agony for the next wave or something. Um, all of that would be really cool, especially if you have she venom in this wave. It's like, okay, we can, and then we have shriek, we can move agony to the next wave, maybe. Um, but if you could get them all in there, that would be amazing too. Uh, but those are just like my hopes. Uh, as far as like non venom characters, I don't even want to think about it. I'm sure we're going to get one or two non venom characters, but I don't want to think about it. So I'm not going to list any because I don't want to put any ideas into Hasbro's head, although I'm sure they already have the line planned out and everything. Uh, but I want to hear your ideas. Let me know down below which characters do you think will most likely be in this wave. Like, obviously, I think Venom and Carnage will most likely be in this wave and possibly Anne or She Venom. Uh, but what but what characters do you think will most likely be in this wave? And then tell me which ones you hope are in this wave. Do you want to see Riot build a figure? Do you want to see a Null build a figure? Do you want to see Agony? Um, you know, do you want to see uh, Tyrese's character? I think it's Stroud from uh, Morbius. Like, who would you like to see in this line? I, hey, how about Hornet? Uh, recently, Hobie Brown just became the Hornet, and I've always loved that character. And that's not exactly Venom related, but uh, but it's a cool figure that we need, and we can start building the Slingers at some point. Right, Hasbro? Please. <laughs> uh, so yeah, those are my hopes and my and my wishes for this uh, line. But I want to hear yours too. So let me know down below what you think of this. You know, are you excited that we're going to get Venom? Let there be Carnage toys. If we're going to get six figures, how many do you think are going to be Venom movie related? Or do you want them all movie related like I do? Do you want to be greedy like me? Uh, let me know down below. And as always, we'll continue our conversation down there. And I'm going to go. I've had two live streams today. One of them we deleted. I deleted the live stream from earlier. But this video is replacing it. So hopefully this works out for you guys. And everyone who had ideas in that video when we did it live, you know, feel free to repeat your uh, ideas down below and uh, list any figures you want in this wave. Make a whole list for me if you want. Whatever it is, let me know down in the comments below. I would love to see what you guys have on your mind regarding Venom Let There Be Carnage toys. And this is a good sign because hopefully that means we'll get other things too outside of toys uh, and other merchandise. I really hope that's the case. So fingers crossed and hopefully they'll announce more things very, very soon. Thanks so much for watching the show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you all in the future. Peace.